May this flag fly high and proud over our home, the county of Los Angeles. May it be a lantern to bring light to those who suffer in the dark. May it be a beacon of hope to those who feel marginalized or forgotten. May this flag honor all those who have fought for equal rights. And may this flag forever be a sign that everyone is welcome in Los Angeles County. Thank you. You people are a circus. You can't put clown makeup on, dress up like you're in some kind of traveling carnival, and then expect people to take you seriously. That's just not how any of this works. Anyway, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Real quick Clown World weekend update. We are in the first weekend of Pride Month 2023. And I was going to get a uh, schedule printed out for you guys of the festivities over the next month and have it broken down week to week to make it easier to read and follow of all the places and times where things would be happening, the parades, the cookouts, the ring tosses, the concerts, and so on and so forth. But I didn't get a chance to print that out because I truly don't give a sh Sorry. Anyway, if you place your attention on the screen for a moment. So in yesterday's video, I showed you guys a bunch of government agencies, the FBI, ATF, State Department, that tweeted out uh, different things in celebration of Pride Month. Well, this is kind of continu a, a continuation of that. So here we have a tweet from... <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Sesame Street. Sesame Street. I always knew when I was younger and watched Sesame Street that those Bert and Ernie bath times together with Robert Ducky seemed a little off, but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. I think I was too young to understand back then. Now I get it. Sesame Street says, This Pride Month, let's celebrate diversity and unity and spread the love and acceptance. Together we can make the world a kinder place for all. All right, next. We have the Cartoon Network. And if you guys know anyone in your life that tells you that these people aren't um, targeting kids with this stuff, just please show them this video. Just show them this video where we had Sesame Street and then the Cartoon Network. Oh, we're not done yet. So the Cartoon Network tweeted out, you are an experience. Kick off Pride Month by showing yourself and others love and appreciation. The Cartoon Network. Next, the Department of Agriculture. It just says period with the pride flag and the trans flag in the building here lit up in rainbows. Next, Last but certainly not least, and in fact, the most important one in proving that they are targeting kids is the U.S. Department of Education. It says everyone in the school community should feel valued for who they are and free to be their authentic self. Our message to LGBTQI plus students teachers, and staff as we begin Pride Month. ED has got your back. Happy Pride Month. To every student watching today, I want to be clear. that We see you, we support you, and you are beautiful just the way you are. In some spaces and places, you don't hear that enough. We've got to celebrate each and every one of you. It's important for us as educators to help LGBTQI plus students see themselves as leaders and role models in their schools and communities. To all of our LGBTQI plus educators and students, continue to live, study, and work as your free, authentic selves in your schools and communities. Today and always, be unapologetically you. What the f*** does that even mean? So the person speaking in that clip I just played is some kind of secretary for the Department of Education. Not exactly sure what his title is, but he literally just said that these people need to be celebrated, each and every one of them. So if you are a male, you are being told that if you suck, you will be celebrated. Why? Why? There I go again, trying to make sense of the nonsensical. Oh, I wonder what old grandpa's getting into today. Roll the film, please. 
Today's gender is gallantly not giving a f while summer society has a complete meltdown over your very existence. You beautiful f You keep driving them crazy. What the f Buffalo Bill? I have a little suggestion. Hear me out. Maybe, just maybe, they should send some cadaver dogs out to the old fellow's property to have a sniff around. Just say it. Anyway, these people don't want to live in peace. They don't want peace. They don't want privacy. They don't want to be left alone. They want chaos and confusion. You heard the old timer. He said, keep driving them crazy. Well, again, I ask, why? Why do you want to drive people crazy? Just live your life. Don't worry about other people. But they can't do that. Anyway, this next one, I'm not sure what's going on. Guy here, if he's got an extra chromosome or what's going on, but he's really upset about uh, the anniversary of George Floyd's death where he passed recently. Uh, roll the film. A friend of mine reminded me that today is the anniversary of George Floyd being murdered. Did you hear anything about that on the news today? Me neither. Did you remember that that happened? In 2020, today? You're a pussy. Now listen, I don't know if that smooth brain was just virtue signaling and trying to score some woke points by pretending to cry about the anniversary of George Floyd's death. But I'm not sure what's going on there, so I wouldn't feel good about myself going hard into pain at that guy. So we're just going to let that one slide. We'll just move on to this next one. Now this one, <laughs> I got no problem going hard into pain at this young lady. She loves wearing masks. Loves wearing masks. Can you guess why? <laughs> <laughs> I'd prefer it too, ma'am. Put your mask on. Roll the film. Y'all, I just saw a group of people, but they were all wearing masks, and their masks were all coordinated with their outfits, and it's just so cool. I love seeing anyone wearing a mask, but seeing a whole group of young people who are, like, having fun with it, and it was all outside, too. They were walking outside, all wearing cool, color-coordinated masks. Their outfits were f***ing amazing. I just, it's great. Like, I love color coordinating my mask to my outfit. I think it actually, a lot of the time, like, makes the outfit. I think it's so fun and so cool. And I just love seeing other people do that same thing. There are ways to make wearing a face mask fun and fashionable and cool. And I think so much of it does come down to peer pressure and really caring what people think, which is very understandable and valid. But at the end of the day, there are people who will genuinely think that you are so f***ing cool for doing that and for protecting people. And I just, like, wanted to say, if you're someone who is, like, still wearing a mask, regardless of whether you're and making it fit with your outfit or not like i love you i th thank you and also oh my god if you ever do make a cool outfit with your mask please tag me i want to hype you up i want to see i love it please 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 well i'm gonna take this damn mask off <laughs> oh listen I saw her study a few months back. I don't know if it was legit or not, but it said it was ugly people that wanted the mask mandates to continue and never end. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, oh, here's one that I missed when I did the Clown World Mother's Day special episode. Oh, I missed it. Wish I included it in that one. We'll check it out now. Happy Mother's Day, they, them, and she, her. You get a strange feeling, the one in the back is the dad roll it good morning and happy mother's day and today's a very special mother's day for me because it's the first time i get to celebrate mother's day with my oldest child and i got my first mother's day gift and so did bex from her so we're taking a moment whether you're non-binary trans woman cis woman doesn't matter if you call yourself a mother here's to you cheers that's not your mother it's a man baby Real quick, guys, we don't have any sponsors for today's video. If you would like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, 
There is a PayPal link in the description box below, and I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video unless stated otherwise by you. If you're wondering why this is on the screen here, I just wanted to remind all of you what the modern day woman looks like. So anytime you see something like this, just remember, this is the new stunning, brave, and beautiful. We let this stuff go too far, pretty soon we'll be f***ing dogs. We went down that slippery slope years ago. Anyway, next up, so this guy has an interesting take on the whole bathroom issue. Apparently, he's an ally. So, I will be doing the exact opposite of what this fella says he's going to do. So, if me and him ever ran into each other in the real world, we'd definitely be button heads. Roll the film, please. If you're a transgender man and you see me out in public and you have to go to the restroom, I will escort you to the restroom. We're going there together and I'll make sure that you're protected. Transgender woman, I will stand outside the bathroom, make sure nobody follows you in there, try to harm you. I am a safe place. You think you're tough. You think you're tough, huh? You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. Now, once again, I don't know if that is just another person virtue signaling for woke points or what. I'm sure that gentleman's heart's in the right place. He's probably just not well-educated on what's been going on. Probably just heard one side of the story. Thinks he's going to come in and be the hero and puff his chest out. But his stance is literally, I'm going to help that dude over there use the ladies' restroom if he wants. What? <laughs> Sir, you may want to think that through a little bit. Anyway. This next clip, now, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, Mike, Mike, we've seen plenty of these clips a couple years ago, you know, it's, we get it, people lost their minds a little bit a few years back, you know, people were, were acting a little crazy. Well, this is from two days ago, two days ago, in Oregon. Roll the film, please. I'm also here with my neighbors in Hillsdale and Multnomah Village to support this budget amendment. You were literally too stupid to insult. Now, I blame the government and the media for scaring people that badly that they feel they have to wear a f***ing fishbowl on their head to go to a town council meeting. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, we're going to be wrapping it up on this one, guys, because I just, I just can't take anymore. And I'm pretty sure you guys can't either. We've all had way too much brain age for one day. And we will be wrapping it up with everybody's least favorite diversity hire, Karine Jean-Pierre. Former Vice President Joe Biden's publicist. Now, Karine Jean-Pierre is about to let us know that Pride Month won't be ending in June this month. Uh-uh-uh. We are going to start celebrating Pride Month all year round. Get ready. <laughs> anyway, guys, clearly things are getting crazy out there, so please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace. Roll. The film, please. On behalf of the administration, I will say to the LGBTQ plus community that we see you, we love you, and we will continue to celebrate you not just this month, but every month. <laughs> what? That's so f***ing gay. And you ain't black.